Ethan Decline is demonically possessed, as we know from ever since I called him out for being possessed by demons, and he featured that on his show where he said uh, he, he would try to hex me, that he would command demons to go on my body. Well, of course, the power of the blood of Christ just completely stopped him, as well as the top G.I. Aikido, which I said, you know, what are you doing? You stand no chance. But the possessed Ethan Decline is now trying to slander... What's new, guys? He's trying to slander Myron, Bradley, Martin, and Sneeko. Now, look at, just, look at, <laughs> just look at his face, dude. He's so, he's so freakish. He's so deformed. I wonder why, you know, you have to surround yourself with a very particular group of people in order to not see yourself for who you actually are, right? Because Ethan is fat. He's in worse shape than all of these men. He is mocked and ridiculed by everybody on the internet. He tells himself that he's the one doing the mocking and the ridiculing, but every single time he makes a video, it's just that much more embarrassing for him. The reason he had to react to this video in the same way he had to react to the video that I made calling him out for being demon-possessed is that he knows people see him for what he is. In this video, you have three men who have all rejected his worldview so entirely that they mock it and they embody how it's wrong. They're all aware of the absolute insanity of the left, which is enraging to a left. It's just that in of itself. But they're aware of the lies that have been reported. They're aware of the censorship. They're aware of the hypocrisy. They're aware of the endless immorality. And they're talking about it and scorning the ideology that tells Ethan he's a good person as a result of being one of the worst humans on the planet. And that's the same as calling him a fraud. And so he felt compelled to slander these guys. By the way, if you haven't seen that video of uh, me being featured on Ethan Decline's show, go check out my original video and my response to me being on his show. That original video of me calling him out for being demon possessed is one of my most viewed videos on this channel. Okay, let's watch Let's watch Ethan Decline completely freak out at objective reality. Why are you, again, hanging out with Sneeko and Myron? What do they say if you're sitting at a table with two Nazis? <laughs> oh my gosh, the left only trades on identity politics. Oh my gosh, they're bad people because they disagree with us, even though they can't refute. And throughout this video, he will not refute a single idea that they have. He will only slander, and it, it just completely fits the mold of what I describe when I talk about the left-wing ideology. They cannot debate ideas because in postmodern neo-Marxism, they demonize logic, reason, and rationality as oppression. Bradley, why are you, again, hanging out with Sneeko and Myron? What do they say if you're sitting at a table? Oh, you're acting like you're his dude. You're acting like you're his friend. You're acting like he would rather hang out with you. No one wants to hang out with you because you're a freak. Table with two Nazis. And <laughs> what? Just calling them Nazis? What are you talking about? Randomly. <laughs> this is actually how leftists operate. Or is it the, the demon speaking through him? Probably a combination of both. There's three Nazis? That's mm -hmm. yeah. insane. We gotta stop dissing the Nazis all the time. <laughs> all right, all right let's see. Like, you do is if they, if they know that you... So he just called Bradley Martin a Nazi, just to, just to be completely clear. This is like the social credit system in China where if you are even close to somebody who is, quote, an undesirable, your social credit score goes down. This is the authoritarian regime they have imagined for the world. Notice that he is one of the nastiest evil human beings on the internet. Everyone hates him, and yet he still considers himself, for some reason, better than the people he disagrees with. That is the, nar that is the narcissistic psychopathology of the left. Your arguments are ironclad. They'll go ahead and try to make like a deflection argument, like you were just saying, like, oh, you're gay. But, okay, let's assume I was gay. Let's. Let's, let's look at Ethan's face here. It's really, it's actually, again, it is demonic. It's in the Nazis all the time. <laughs> All right, let's see. Like you do is if they if they know that your arguments are ironclad, they'll go ahead and try to make like a deflection argument, like you were just saying, like oh. See, he knows that he's not there to debate ideas. When he was debating that, uh, when they were in the debate with Fresh and Fit for three hours, I conducted an analysis that debunked every single lie Ethan Decline committed, as well as all the intellectual fallacies. They aren't there, as he admitted in their debate, to debate ideas. It got to the point in the debate where he literally said, "I'm not here to debate ideas." He admitted to being unserious. People like this exist, and you have to ask yourself, what are they enraged with? What are they at odds with? The answer is objective reality itself. That also is the reason, by the way, why you can consider him effectively demonically possessed. Oh, you're gay, but okay, let's assume I was gay. Let's. And you- Look at his face. He's actually desperate to call Myron gay for some reason. The reason is very obvious. But think, think, think about that. A far leftist, completely deranged, admit, who is admitted to not being interested in debating ideas publicly, is calling a black man who has trounced him in debates, who he can't justify his disagreement with, as gay, and then smirking afterwards. This is who the left is. 
you guys were going ahead and because these are the same woke people by the way that like attack that like say oh, which is we, funny now we, it gets really funny yeah, yeah see yeah, go see where it. I'm going yeah look at this he's getting upset that Bradley Martin is seeing him for what he is it's so it's so classically demonic being seen as the fraud that he is he can't get away with it when people call him out as being a bad person it does more than just make fun of him in the way he's trying to make fun of others it says the entire matrices for which he organizes his belief set is invalid and fraudulent because the reason why he acts so horrible repeatedly, time and time again, is because he believes he's a better human than any person who disagrees with the radical left. In complete alignment and symbiosis with the literal left-wing ideology. But when somebody like Bradley Martin, who he's associated himself with and called a friend, openly acknowledges that that system is incoherent and fraudulent, it's enraging to him. Because he can't debate his way out of that. Yeah. Like a lot of these people that say that I'm gay, like they tend to lean more left. They tend to be like, oh, well, everyone's accepted, et cetera. Let's say I was really gay. Well, you're homophobic. No. Exactly. You see this all the time, especially with the Harrison Butker situation. A bunch of alcoholic, single, childless women that are past the wall are, are attacking his masculinity. And you realize that these leftists actually are not tolerant at all because they're using gayness as a negative. And I call people out on this and they just go completely silent in the comment section where I reply to somebody and calling, calling Harrison Butker gay. And I'm like, so you're using gayness as a negative here. You are homophobic, literally, easily owned. And then they just completely freak out because they've lost the moral high ground. This is who the left is. They're just trying to demonize and pervert. And I'm not using the word demonize in a spiritual sense there. I'm saying they literally try to say you're a bad person if you disagree with them. But what's interesting is that if you notice how they only try to pervert, they only try to subvert and say the opposite of the truth, that does end up having a spiritual quality to it. And you recognize, wait a second, Ethan Decline is demonically possessed and he tried to send demons towards me, but I just repelled him with the power of Andrew Tate's Aikido and of course the blood of Jesus. But what you must acknowledge here is that these people, these freaks that hate masculinity are actually opposed not just to us, but to reality itself and its objective qualities. Now what are you gonna do? Oh, Ooh, but the reason why they put it on See, he just got owned and then he said, oh, I just got owned. And again, trying to pervert and subvert the conclusion, yeah, you did just get owned. He called you out as being homophobic because you are, and as a matter of fact, you were homophobic 10 seconds ago. This is how easy it is to break them. It's not gay. Because they know I'm not. He's saying because we don't like him, that would make us homophobic. He's because saying because if I was gay. actually gay. See, their IQs are too low to literally understand what they just heard. The only trade in oppressed, oppressy disparities, uh, relationship disparities. They can't, they're so unpracticed in even listening to coherent ideas, they don't even understand. But of course, the guy that just said that is a Bolshevik Marxist whose IQ is double digits. Hey, you'd be like, you're we're compensating on the masculinity <laughs> and you Terry is not like, oh, look at this gay guy, he's gay. It's like, you're talking- Yes, it is. That is literally what it is. You are making fun of him for being gay. You are homophobic. You are using gayness as a pejorative. Sick masculinity <laughs> and you seem to be repressing your true identity. They say the same thing with Harrison Butker. And I, I swear, the reason they did that with Harrison is just literally because his beard is perfectly trimmed. It enraged all the feminists who don't take showers because they're old. They have no reason to like, keep themselves put together. And they're enraged that men are embodying reality in front of them. In the same way that this fat, obese guy is upset that three men who are, they teach men to be more physically impressive. Bradley Martin does this. Myron does this. Sneeko basically learned this from Myron. They are, they are an embodiment of how his stance on reality is insufficient and pathetic. So again, the need to pervert and subvert that. Oh, the fact that, because if anything, he's obviously more feminine than these guys because they actually care about their masculine strength, whereas this guy has, whereas this guy's fat. But no, he has to subvert that. Oh, the fact that they're objectively masculine and impressive means that they must be the opposite of that, right? That's leftist ideology. You see it play out in front of you. And it also proves that deep down, everybody no. knows that it's something disgusting. It actually yeah. proves that- oh, they, oh, look at this, look at this, look at this. He also just involuntarily responded no as Sneeko continued to call him out. This is what enrages the left. This is the reason that they want to silence us on YouTube and on Twitter, because when we get to talk freely, they hear us, they listen to us, they hear us mocking them, they hear us convincing swaths of young men to not go down. Nobody wants to be like Ethan Decline. Nobody looks at Ethan Decline and says, I want to be like Ethan Decline. Zero people. They do, however, want to be like Bradley Martin. They do want to be like Andrew Tate. They do want to be like Myron Gaines. They want to be you know, like Jordan Peterson, etc. But there's no qualities that this guy has. So he's resentful of that fact that men are not. I, I cover this extensively in that um, three hour long analysis of all the intellectual errors he committed while he was debating fresh and fit. But it's one of the most enraging aspects to these deformities is that nobody wants to be like them and they embody actually how they're wrong proves that deep down everybody no. knows that it's something disgusting it actually yeah. proves that oh they, so he's going homophobic with that he's like actually let me take the reins here for a second right right again again you see the deflection he just used 
gain us as a negative. So what Sneeko is doing is saying, you are actually acknowledging an aspect of reality that you deny doesn't exist, therefore you're fraudulent. That might be too many mental steps to, to comprehend, but that's actually just you know the um, intellectually coherent uh, response. Is what you might mean be the dumbest dude on the internet. He is not only the dumbest, but he's becoming the- So this is, this is the fate of men who deny reality because when, you know, when a woman denies reality, she's just sort of being a feminine woman and you can understand it. This is the, this is the way, I, I'm just gonna be honest, most people look at women on X when they say incoherent things. It's just like, okay, yeah, you know, she doesn't have to adhere to reality in the same way as me. But when a man does it like this, and he does it for years in a row, he ends up being the most scorned, the most hated, the most mocked and ostracized person on the entire internet. And instead of updating yourself, instead of acknowledging you were wrong, which a non-psychopath would do, by the way, because if you're not a psychopath, you take into account what other people are saying, especially when they're all calling out objective flaws in the way you're conducting yourself. But Ethan Klein, as he's demonically possessed by left-wing resentment, is made ultimately narcissistic to the point where he just says the opposite of the truth and slandering people on repeat forever. That's, that's literally all he does. That's his entire script, is just slander people, say the opposite of the truth, say the opposite of the truth, slander people. Slander people, say the opposite of the truth, say the opposite of the truth, slander people. Now he's not gonna be able to cope with Bradley Martin too. It's gonna be very funny. The most pathetic. <laughs> Even the kick stream with Vitaly. So they called Sneeko pathetic but he's objectively less pathetic than you in every domain measurable. So what are you even talking about? Again, you see that inversion of reality. The entire time the chat was just talking about what a fucking moron Sneeko is. Yeah, he's like-, like Even a, those people can see it. You know, also, um, Myron said- <laughs> What do you mean those people? <laughs> These people talk as though they're better than anyone is so funny. Ethan's audience is the lowest IQ, most degenerate, resentful, incoherent, like mentally broken sect of the population on the entire planet. And they're like, oh yeah, those people. They're so narcissistic, they're so psychopathic. This is the reason why everyone mocks them endlessly. Getting closer to Bradley, he's on, yep. the, he's on the, the good side of the couch. A hundred percent. You probably they know that. So he's trying to, again, call Myron um, gay for sitting close to Bradley Martin on the couch where all the guests in the history of Bradley Martin's podcast sit. So you're really, guys, you're seeing a desperate, deformed, fat man turn to homophobia instead of debating ideas because he's lost so violently. But we already know that he couldn't debate because he admitted in a debate that he had that he wasn't there to debate. Sneeko probably sat down before and then uh, Mayor Myron, just can, can we switch? You sit over here in that corner. Move, you probably That's said That's what move. happened. Dude, what is going on? It's so freakish, it's so weird. <laughs> Who does he employ? What is this? <laughs> Who's this guy? He probably, he probably sat, sat on the other side and he, he, he said, oh, I have to switch because I'm gay and I have to sit close to Bradley Martin. Like, what is going on? What is, what is going on in this? Crit, like, bruh, I have to get out of California. And then uh, Mayor Myron, just can, can, can we switch? You sit over here. <laughs> what the fuck? You That's what move. happened in the kick stream too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they pretend to be inclusive about this, but if they're gonna use it as an insult to this- Oh, it's perfect. The, the unpause is perfect. I'm surprised they didn't um, <laughs> edit that out. It's, it's not used as Are insult. you really as inclusive as you say? Checkmate, except you guys are dumb as fuck. And <laughs> I don't know if you're intentionally mis- <laughs> Ethan just got owned repeated. Bro, it takes special talent to get owned as soon as you unpause the video. That's, I mean, that's really when you recognize you're saying the opposite of reality, but his response to that was, you're dumb, checkmate. That was his argument. Can you see why the left is losing yet? Can you tell? <laughs> I love Bradley, for example, but he's never struck me as a uh, master. He's, he's not getting rated 2000 in chess. Just saying. Of course, what it comes down to is the fact that these people aren't censored in alignment with that authoritarian instinct that I mentioned at the beginning of the video, and lots and lots of young men are watching this video. I mean, 10,000 likes. This is a three hour long video. A lot of young men are being influenced by this, and that takes away power, that takes away influence from a person that says, you know, the only way you can be a good person is to be like me. That message is only resonating with women who have had destroyed psyches. It's not reaching the young men anymore. Young men are realizing, wait a second, I have one life and people like Andrew Tate exist. People like these guys on Fresh and Fit exist. I can drive a Honda and be mad or I can better myself, drive a Ferrari, have a Rolex and understand that and understand the true aspects of intersexual dynamics. And the fact that young men can make up their minds and choose that enrages Ethan because it's not just people disagreeing with him, it's people invalidating his ideology because his ideology is so incompatible with objective reality, it's actually visibly unpopular. Myron just obviously slams Ethan yet again. I mean, with people like this, it's really, really easy to bully them because every single, say, every single thing they say is just incoherent and wrong. 
the people in the comments, I mean, this guy says he's wired in <laughs> and wrong and can't physically have an adult conversation with somebody he disagrees with. Even Post Malone was so embarrassed by him that after meeting him in real life, he ghosted him for years, lol. People are making fun of him being fat, calling him L3, L3. It's got to it's gotta hurt because you're reminded every single day of your entire life that you took the wrong choice by going against Jordan Peterson and making friends with the most resentful, mentally broken, uh, you know, hateful communists on the planet. But that is the path that he chose, and not everybody chooses the correct path. You know, some people, some people throw away their legacy. At this point, he doesn't have any legacy left. For all the freakish haters, if there's any freakish haters from age three um, that are watching this, you are literally, like, literally a loser. Everybody, not just from my side of the internet, which is much bigger than your side of the internet, but everybody in the world laughs at you because you are actually a deformed loser. You don't have to be a deformed loser, but you've chosen to be this way. You can still change your mind. You can listen to Andrew Tate, you can go to the gym, you can become better, you can objective, you can compete against men in the objective domains of masculine competition, or you can, you know, end up fat and you can just, you know, flip the burgers for me and my kids and wash the cars, etc. And of course, your ideology tells you that having children is oppression and toxic, so you won't even inherit the world anyway, my children will, because I'm going to have 10 of them. But I think what's true is that Ethan has been so incoherent for so many years. His audience has gotten distilled. Like, a lot of people have jumped ship. Like, a year ago, people jumped ship. Two years ago, people jumped ship. Three months ago, people jumped ship. After that insanely embarrassing debate, even everybody from his chat, or a lot of people from his audience were saying that debate was so embarrassing because he just failed on so many levels. But the people that are still there are so distilled into hating themselves that they might not be recoverable. And that's completely fine. As I said, we have to have burger flippers. Like the video to combat the censorship, this is also going up on X. I'm gaining like 10 followers on X a day, so be sure to follow me there. Funny how on X I'm gaining 10 followers a day because there's no censorship, and then on YouTube, it just stalls for weeks, and then I gain subscribers, and it stalls for weeks. Super interesting. Anyway, catch you guys in the next one.